Well, good morning, everyone, and we are still looking here in God's Word as we come to another Take 5 and study what James is teaching us about how to respond in a time of crisis. What does God expect? What is the character that God wants us to walk in? How does God want us to live? And so today I want to go down to verse 6 of chapter 4, and we're going to continue this very powerful powerful study, this very strong series of verses that we find in James chapter 4. In verse 6, it says this, and I love this verse. It starts by saying this, but he, referring to God, referring to the Spirit of God, gives more grace. I just want to stop there for a minute and just tell you what God's grace is. God's grace, if you look it up in a, in a Bible concordance or dictionary, it simply means unmerited or undeserved favor. But it is so much more than just God's favor that is undeserved. It certainly is. But I want you to know that it is God's power, his ability working on behalf of you, regardless of you, in spite of you. That's God's grace. And the Bible says that he gives more grace. That means whatever level of grace that you're walking in right now, there's more grace for you. And I could just sit and talk about this one verse for an hour. It is this one phrase that God gives more grace. He is so full of grace for us that beyond us, in spite of us, no matter what's going on around us, God gives us more grace. Therefore, he says, verse 6 continues, but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Now, I want to talk about this for a minute because I believe as we're walking through a time and a season of unsure times and situations that we have to understand who God is. We have to understand where God is. We have to understand where we are in the process because what we tend to do in a time of crisis or a time of challenge or stress is we tend to try to figure things out, taking things in our own hands, saying, God, I thank you that you're part of my life, but I'm going to have to handle this now. And when you do that, you put yourself in a position that is in front of God's grace. And when you position yourself in a place you're not supposed to be trying to do what you're not designed to do, the Bible refers to that as pride, right? Pride is positioning yourself higher or above or in place of where God or somebody else higher should be. And when I try to position myself that way, I'm walking in pride. And the Bible says that God resists me. I get the resistance from God when I am trying to handle things myself. God, I know you put me here in this church, but I, I'm offended and, and they didn't treat me right, they didn't do right, they didn't talk right about me, so I'm gonna just move on. Not that you called me to move on, I'm just gonna do it because I don't have to be treated like this or deserve to be treated like this. It's pride. And the Bible says that God will resist you. He resists you. Listen, I don't want God to resist me. I get enough resistance from the devil. How about you? I don't need God to be resisting me. But it says when I humble myself, when I lower myself and allow God to be God, and I don't try to fix everything and do everything and get angry about everything and worry about everybody else and try to adjust everybody else, that I will come to a place where I let God be God and I come down underneath and I give myself to him. The Bible says he extends grace to me. That means he puts his ability to work. And let me tell you, God's a lot stronger than you are. His ability is a lot bigger than your ability. You don't need resisted by God. You need the grace of God today. You need to draw from his grace in every situation. So you need to stop and step back and quit trying to control everything and allow God to be in control. When you do that, ooh, it's going to be powerful. It is going to change your life. It really will. So Lord, I thank you today, God, for your grace. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for grace Lord, that you give to us, you give it to us, Lord, so liberally, God. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, as we step back and we allow you to be who you are and we position ourselves where we're supposed to be, that we're walking in grace and not the resistance of God that comes with 
pridefulness where I'm walking my own desires, my own needs, my own trying to push myself forward. Lord, but I want to put that down. I repent of that. Come on, if that's you, some somebody here, you just need to repent of putting yourself out front. Lord, I'm going to let go of this. I'm going to let go of the situation. I'm going to let go of that person. I'm going to let go of that offense. And I'm going to receive from your grace and humble myself today, Lord Jesus. And I thank you, God, for what you're doing in our lives, that we're seeing your grace every moment of every day. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let God's grace overtake you today, and you're going to have a great day. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.